In this video, we will look at how to get the right battery and inverter size for 500 watt full load. Let's begin with the inverter sizing. First, we consider inverter voltage. For load or power consumption equal to or less than 1000 watts, a 12 volt inverter will work pretty fine. Next, we factor in inverter efficiency. Assuming inverter offers 80% efficiency or a 0.8 factor, dividing 500 watts by 0.8 gives us 625. If you have any device with starting power or surge higher than this inverter size, consider getting an inverter which has the surge capacity to handle it. Or, include the surge in the inverter sizing. When a device has a starting surge than what the inverter can handle, the inverter will trip off when you try to run the device on it. If for example, the load calculation includes a 100 watt refrigerator with a 750 watt starting surge, you will need a 1500 watt to 2000 watt inverter. Otherwise, you can get a 650 watt inverter which has a surge capacity of 1500 watts to 2000 watts. Let's turn our attention to battery sizing, considering one example for a life PO4 battery, and the other for lead acid battery. To get the right battery size you need to run a 500 watt load, we need to consider how long you want to run the load and calculate the required battery capacity accordingly. The energy required to run a 500 watt load depends on the number of hours the load will be running. Here's how to calculate it. Inverter uses 20 watts to convert battery energy to AC current. 20 watts plus 500 watts equals 520 watts. Dividing 520 watts by the inverter efficiency factor equals 650 watt. Now, we can calculate the energy required to run 650 watts using this formula. Energy equals power or load times your desired number of hours to run the load. 650 watts times 1 hour equals 650 watt hours which is the energy required to run 650 watts per hour. For a 4 hour runtime, multiplying 650 watts by 4 gives you 2600 watt hours. Remember our inverter voltage of 12 volts. To calculate the battery size from the energy requirement, divide 650 watts by 12 volts which gives you 12 volts 55 ampere hours for 1 hour runtime. For 4 hour runtime, you need 12 volts 220 ampere hours. Most batteries should not be discharged completely, especially lead acid batteries. To ensure longevity, you should only use about 50% of a lead acid battery's capacity. For lithium batteries, you can use about 90% of the battery full charge. If you're using lead acid batteries and considering 50% depth of discharge or DOD, divide 220 by 0.50 which gives you 12 volts 440 ampere hours. Two 12 volts 220 ampere hour batteries give you 440 ampere hours. You need approximately 5 batteries if you go for 12 volt 100 ampere hour batteries. If you're using lithium batteries and considering 90% depth of discharge DOD, dividing 220 by 0.9 gives you 12 volts 250 ampere hours. One 12 volt 250 ampere hour battery will get the job done. For 12 volt 125 ampere hour batteries, you need two of those. For 12 volts 100 ampere hours, you need approximately three batteries. You can simply adjust this calculation to run 500 watts for different duration. Make sure that you also maintain recommended battery C-ray to keep your battery healthy. Pair the battery with a good inverter that offers up to 90% efficiency to achieve stability. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Solar Watt Green Energy and turn the video notification bell on for more contents like this on solar and renewable energy. See you in the next video.